If you'd like to release your inner child, you just might want to take a trip via stovetop travel to Togo in West Africa. Togo is a beautiful country, a long, skinny country that has everything from sandy slopes all the way to mountains and plateaus. The most beautiful thing I think about Togo are some of the buildings you'll find that look almost exactly like sand castles. And we use these sand castles as the inspiration for our first dish this week. We shared the food with my best friend from high school, Mary Ann, and her two children, who I haven't seen for almost a decade. Together we tried these beautiful cornmeal cakes that are a lot like polenta, but they're seasoned with ginger and garlic and tomato, onion, and even red palm oil, which gives it that signature West African flavor. Red palm oil is extremely popular in this part of the world. The dish was very, I would say, difficult for a pickier person, but somewhere when we were sitting at the table, I got the idea that it reminded me of those buildings I'd seen in photos of Togo. And so I suddenly called them the sandcastles from Togo. And that set the tone for the meal, and the kids really grappled onto that idea and we had a whole conversation about trying the sandcastles. What Ava and I talk about all the time is we say that what's the worst that could happen? You don't like it, right? And if you don't like it, what can you do about that? Drink some water if you don't like it and wash it away, right? And then it's over. As you can see, little Mr. Owen was very enthusiastic and we even worked through Emma's pickiness and we were all so excited. The second dish we tried was a lot easier. It was the Togo chicken, which was also marinated in ginger, garlic, and red palm oil, as well as some onion. And if you'd like, you can add cayenne pepper to give it a nice spicy kick. These chicken legs just get grilled, and so it's a super easy, fun way, even on a weeknight, to have something from another part of the world on your global table. I thought 10 chicken legs would be enough, but the kids gobbled them up so fast. I could have made 20 and it wouldn't have been enough. So that was really fun to see how well that went over. In the end though, I think the lesson this week really is about channeling your inner child, especially when serving pick your eaters. If you can let them see the fun in the dish, the friendly parts of the dish, the things that would make it exciting to eat, like the fact that it might look like a sandcastle, you could be in a much better shape than you would be otherwise. So until next time, happy stovetop travels from our Global Table Adventure to yours. Mm -hmm.